Ryan, and today I'm going to be talking about seismic waves. They are waves of energy that travel through the Earth's layers. They are caused by the sudden breaking of rock within the Earth or an explosion. There are three components of a seismic wave, the primary wave, the secondary wave, and the surface wave. Primary waves are also known as pressure waves. They are compressional waves that are longitudinal in nature. Pressure waves travel faster than any other wave through the Earth. They can travel through any type of material and are nearly twice the speed of S waves. In air, they take the form of sound waves and travel at the speed of sound. They are the fastest in solids and the first to appear on a seismogram. Secondary waves are also known as shear waves. They are transverse in nature. They arrive after the faster moving P waves or primary waves. They displace ground perpendicular to the direction of propagation. They only travel in solids and the speed is usually around 60% of a P wave. The last type is a surface wave. They travel only on Earth's surface. They are classified as a form of a mechanical surface wave. They diminish as they move farther from the surface and are slower than both S and P waves. There are two types. The lob, which is the fastest and has a side-to-side -side movement, and the rally, which rolls along the ground and causes most shaking from an earthquake. In earthquakes, these surface waves have an amplitude of several centimeters, which can cause a lot of damage. Fun fact, San Francisco is one of the most earthquake-prone cities in the entire world, just because of its location. In 1906, San Francisco suffered one of the city's biggest earthquakes recorded ever. It stretched for a total of 296 miles and destroyed more than 28,000 buildings. Seismic waves are actually the result of an earthquake, as shown in the picture. Did you know the P wave is the first part of a seismic wave to reach the seismograph? The seismograph tells you a lot about the earthquake. It tells you the magnitude, which is also how deadly or dangerous the earthquake is. The higher the magnitude, the bigger the damage dealt by the earthquake. As shown in the diagram, the P wave is the first wave to reach the seismograph, then the S wave, then the surface wave. The surface wave is what causes the Earth's surface to reach an amplitude of more than a few centimeters, which causes the most visible damage. Thank you for watching my video about the information on seismic waves. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I also hope you learned something new today.